Okay, so here we are. Welcome everybody, one more time, another video tutorial with the DR-880. This tutorial, we're going to be editing a little bit the drums, and this is going to be a quick tutorial. Not very in deep, but at least so you could, you know, you could start um, editing your, your drums. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so we let's say first let's say the pattern that we want to edit. Remember we just gonna use the drum, so I got the bass volume low. Okay. You only got the drums volume up. Gonna save this just to so we could edit by itself. Let's save first. We go to edit pattern. And now let's move the dial to, oops, we got to use the cursor, my bad. Let's put it on right and let's hit enter and we're going to save it on user 001. And here we go. Remember everything that you change, if you don't hit save, you're going to lose whatever you edited. So just to be on the safe side, always save whatever edit you make. Just always save. Okay. So let's not exit. We're going to move the cursor because we are already on user pattern 001, but we are already on user. Let's go to step record. Okay. So here we are. This is the information we got. The quantization is on, I believe it's a quarter. Or an eight. Hold on, let me see. I'll be triplets. Uh, I think that's an eight. Okay, so that's a whole note. We got that'll be oh, triplets. I think that's a quarter note. I believe it's a quarter note. Not very sure. Or is it? In eight, so that means then that this is a quarter note. Okay, so you can put it here on quarter note. All right. So the first thing that we got here is the velocity. The velocity, if you move the cursor down, right, it's on position zero zero one. So that's the very beginning of the loop or the pattern. You have a sound which is a symbol on pad number one sixteen. This is pad number one, and this is the sound sixteen. Okay, let me go back so that way you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so remember we are on user pattern. So if I hit pad, you got three pads. This is one. Oh, sorry. That's one. If you press it again, it's going to change. That'll be two. Or if you use the, the dial, that'll be three. So you got three pads, different sounds. Okay, so that's pad number three. Okay. Pad number one. Pad number two. And pad number three. So you got three different, like, banks, I guess. But here is called pad. Okay. So let's go into pad number one, which is drum one. Okay. Hit exit. Now we go again and edit. Pattern. Enter and step record. So here's telling us that we are on pad number one. And the sound is number 16, which is this one right here. Okay. So on the beginning of the loop or the pattern, we, we got, got this sound, this symbol, symbol, symbol one, one, studio, and the velocity is 127. That means that we could change the velocity if you want to. You could change it, right? So to change the velocity, you go down here. Right there is highlighted. And all you do is just move the, the, num um, the dial or the value so it will change the numbers 
that way it will be less intense the volume is 70 i call it volume normally it should be velocity but you can call it volume because that's what it's saying the volume of this sound over here at the beginning which is a symbol is going to be a 70. so if i press play see that So it's not very loud. So if I put it on 127 like it was, now it's louder. You can hear that, see? Okay, so we can leave it on whatever number we want. 95. Okay, so we know already that we changed this now. To say we want to edit the kick. Okay, so now let's go into the kick. So... Position number one, we should have a kick here. Let's see if we could get it. But we move studio one rim. Oh, so that means this is a quarter. Okay. Okay, so I know we have two kicks. You go boom, boom, ba. So this is the studio rim. That means that's studio one rim pad three drum one or pad one and uh the number of the pad actually is three this one so that will be the rim or the snare let me go then here and change it to quarter uh not quarter um eight so we gotta go up right here hole that will be triplet and that will be eight and there you go so now the rim, you see, now we change. Let's go all the way to the beginning. We got the symbol. Going to move here. Oh, we got to bring it down to position, though. We should have a kick there. Hmm. Okay. Let me bring it down to symbol. Symbol two. Okay, so that's changing the sound, the actual sound. If we want instead of instead of this crash and we want this one, we just change it here. Okay. So now let's play the loop, the pattern. There you go. Okay. Let me see if we have another one, splash. So instead of that one, if we want the splash, rock splash, so is this one. Let's play, let's see. Oh, it's very low. Okay, so let's bring up the volume. Here we go again. So, can you hear that? It's very, very short um, sound. Let me see. We got a ride over here. We got toms. So the only two hi hats are these. Okay. Let's go all the way up here. For now, let's leave that splash. Okay, there you go. Bank number one. That's what I'm talking about. These are the kicks right here. So the kick is on the very first position. If I play, you can hear the kick. Boom, boom. It's like two kicks, but I believe one is lower. On volume, let me see. Oh, it's there, but it's not. So, oh, okay, so it doesn't have any velocity. So it's not actually even making any sound. This one, I'm sure it is. Oh, oh, this one is. Okay, so it's on 122. But let's go back to the beginning. If we want to change the velocity, like I said, we could do that. If we want to, on this one, hold on one second. On the second one that, that is marked as a kick, let's actually move it there. Okay. So now let's put another kick. All right. Okay. So now let's see what we got. So here we go. Okay, so go boom, boom. Got it. 
Okay, that's good. So this kick that we just added, the velocity is 78, so we could go higher. I believe we could, oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot that I had to, I forgot that I had to move it all the way down here to velocity. My bad, my bad. Okay, there you go. So now it's going to be louder, that kick. Okay, so you hear that? One more time from the beginning. Okay, one more time from the beginning. So you can hear that go boom, boom. Okay. So that was the extra kick that we added with the velocity of 127, the maximum velocity. Okay. Now, let's say that we want to change. Let me move this to the first pad. Okay, there you go. Let's say that we want to edit that kick, but the pitch. Okay, so now this is what we do. We go into, hold on, exit. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I remember, I remember, exit. Okay, we got to go into the kit. Okay, so we press here, edit, right here into the kit, right? You go enter. And now we go into the drum part. It's highlighted. We press enter. The drum level is 80, like the master volume of the, the drums. It's like 80. And we have like a little arrow there. So we can press the cursor. And here it is. Okay. The pan of the kick is center. The level here says 90. Okay. Let me go down because we got different parameters here. Okay, this is the pitch, right? If I move this, it's going to change the pitch of this kick. There you go. So that's how you change the pitch. What you want to do is double check, right? Verify your song. Or if you're playing live, verify your set. What is the key of the song? That way you could match the key of the song with the sound of the kick. Okay? So that way it will be on the right key, the, the sound of the kick. Okay? So here you do it. Okay? You change the pitch. Go, let me see. Yeah. Ooh, very, very low. The pitch was super low. See that? Or you could go high. <laughs> yep. Zero default. Okay, let's leave it on seven so that way we know that we, we changed something. If you go, if you still go down, you still could go to the side or you could go down because you got arrows here. If we go down, that's the pitch fine. If you need to tune even further, the pitch. Okay, that's for fine tuning. That's like a reverb, I believe. Release time, decay. Oh, not a reverb, the decay time. Oh, okay. So we got pitch, we got decay time, decay level, and release time. Okay, so if you move those param parameters, your kick is going to sound still different. Let's see. Let's see a very short release. Okay. The level, let's go here to maximum. You hear the kick? Very, very short. Not just high pitch, but very short. Very short. Okay, so the release time. Decay time. Let's bring up the decay time and see what, what happens. Okay, still.
that's how you edit the the pitch. So I'm talking here about just the kick, but you could edit any instrument though, any of the instruments. See that? That's the kick. But here you could you could do any any of the any of the sounds, or the percussion sounds. All you have to do is just press the pad that you want to edit the sound. Here's the name of this one, the snare, the, the no, number three, right? Studio rim. Okay, I believe that's the volume. I think, I'm not sure, level, you got 80. Center, let's say that we want to add a little bit more reverb. Um. Let's say I want to change the pitch. So we play it. Totally different. That sounds very, very different. And we still have the same, the decay time, the, the level, decay level, release time. So we could mess around with those parameters. So remember, if you want to change any of the sounds of the drums, Right, in relation to pitch, which will make the pitch higher or lower, right? Just select the sound that you want to edit. Okay, remember the pads are sensitive. So all you have to do is just press the, the pad, and then you can change the pitch. Okay. Okay. Then after you did all the editing, just remember to save here. Let's save here. That way we won't lose the, the changes that we did. To the sounds, let go right. Okay. So enter, right to user 001, studio one, that will be the kit, enter, okay. That'll be for the kit, for the editing of the kit. Then we gotta go into the, into the pattern <clears throat> and save the pattern as well, just in case. Hit exit, okay, so now we're gonna save the pattern, edit, pattern and we go to right right here enter user zero zero one enter okay so that way we, we won't lose any changes i think if we turn off the machine or the the editing on the sounds of the kit i think it's going to change back to original let's try that in a second hold on let me go exit Okay. Okay. So so far it it, is, it stayed right. It kept it. Let's turn it off. And then we're gonna go back into user pattern to see if we still have that sound. Let's hit play first on the original. This is the original. Okay. So that's default. Now let's go into user. Okay. So we are on users. User one. Let's see. Okay, so it's safe. Perfect. So that's how you edit the drums on your machine. Okay. Remember, you got... <coughs> sorry. You got three different banks. Bank number one. That will be bank number one, right? Bank number two. You got congas and bongos. There you go, those are the congas, bongos, congas, right here, conga. And you got like a, <coughs> a Chinese gong, I think it's called, like a splash almost, the ride. 
So that's different percussion. And pad number three is totally different. Okay. Uh, timbales. Clave. Okay, so remember to change any of those sounds. Just go into the kit and you're going to be able to change them. Change the sounds. Let's do that right now, just in case. Let's go back to pad number two where we got the congas. That's one, two, drums two, or, or the pad, or the bank number two. Let's try to record the, the bongos on top of this. Okay. Oh, here we go. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay, there you go. Okay, let's save first of all, so that way we won't lose the information we just recorded. If we want to save it though, if you don't want to save it, you just press um, shift. And I believe the sound of the bongos, which is these pad, and they will get erased. So let me save so that way I don't I don't lose this. So we go edit pattern and then go to save. Right. Enter. Okay. Enter again. I mean it's not too bad. Obviously on a computer is much faster to edit anything, you know, like the MIDI file, you could edit it on the computer however you want, and you could move the parameters around, the pitch, the volume, velocity, whatever. But if you don't have a computer because you are um, playing somewhere and you got a little bit of time off, then you could do it right on the machine, you know. While you're waiting to play your set, you could do any editing and then you know just save it on user location and then you can recall you know the the pattern so it's like a quick um a quick edit that you do and and then you know okay so now let's go into wait wait let's go into the kit because we want to edit the bongos let me give it a little bit more volume for the bongos. Hold on. So we are here. Let's go enter. Step record. Uh, pad one rock splash. Okay. Go here. Pad one. The bongos were on two. Bank two. Okay. There's. Bank one, pad zero four. Bank one. Hold on, let me see. We want to go into bank two exactly. Aha, uh -huh. bongo. Yes, this is it. Bank number two. Okay, so bank number two. So that bongo there. Oh, the velocity is already 127. We can't do anything to it. Let me change to this other one. 127 also. Okay, got it. 111, okay. They're high, you know, the volume is high. Um, let me see. Pan number three, pan number two, pan number three. Okay. Mm. 
me see here what this is. Bongo High. Oh, okay. So Bongo High. Bank 2, Pad 1. Got it. Okay, so that's Pad 1, which is this one. And the bank is number 2. And the Pad 1, and then the other one is the Pad 2. Got it. Okay. We change it here. We go to Pad number 2. Okay. So the velocity is pretty high, so we can't do anything else with it. Now let's go into the kit. Let's go edit, kit, right here we got the kit, so we could change the picture of the bongos. So we're going to hit enter, drum part, there you go, enter, and let's go here, down, um, not down to the sideways, to the right, because we got a little arrow there, so there you go. So this is the sound right here that we want to change. We got that one, and we got that one. Okay. So here we go. Get a little bit, of, little bit more volume here. Okay. There you go. And now the pitch. Let me see. Let me play it. There you go. Now let's change this one. Okay, as well, so pitch 2 and let it, instead of 80, let's go to 100, and that's it. Go back, exit. Um, The kit, we're supposed to save the kit, I believe. Okay, just to be on the safe side. Let's right, enter, so we can save it. The volumes that we did to the bongos. Or the pitch, the volumes and the pitch for the bongos. Then we're gonna go, we're gonna go back and we're gonna save the song. And we are good. Uh, pattern. Enter, let's hit save, right? Enter, and there you go. Enter. That way we can save whatever we did and then we're gonna play it back again. Okay, so let's hit uh, exit, not edit, exit, here we go. And there you go. Okay, now let's add some congas, but let me copy this, these four measures, let me copy these. Um, let me do it four times, so that will be, let me see, hold on, two, three, four, okay, so we could have 32, so let me, let me copy these measures, okay, so let me see if I can remember, oops, sorry, let me see if I can remember, um, you go into, Edit and I think it was pattern chord step record, not step record, right? Copy, I think it was copy, right? Enter. Uh, no, okay, okay, wait, 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 it's not here. Let's go back, let's go back to pattern. Okay. Oh, I can't remember how I did it. Okay, so we gotta go into pattern. Course. I don't wanna fill, edit. Let me see if I go edit. Copy, yes. Okay. So. The, the current measure, the source measure is only uh, one. It's from one to four. Okay, so it's going to be from one to four. 
this nation, so it's going to be five. Right? So we copy, we copy measure one, two, three, and four from measure one to measure four. So the destination is going to be five and all the parts, okay? Copy times. We're going to copy that three times. Three times, right? Okay. That way we're going to have four, so it will be 32. It's going to be three times. There you go. And replace. Okay. We're not going to replace. We're just going to place them. Paste them. In other words, we, we copy them, paste them. So I'm going to hit enter. Let me go back again to what I did. Okay. What I want to do is copy the four, the four measures that we have. I want to copy them, but I want to copy them three times. So that way we have four of four measures. So that will make a total of 32. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Thirty-two, no, sixty-four. So it's going to be a total of sixty-four. Okay, because each measure is four beats. Four times. Four times four is sixteen. Then thirty-two, and then twice that will be sixty-four. Okay, so now let's hit OK or let's hit Enter, so it will start. Here we go. Okay, apparently it's already done. Let's see. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Okay. So we got... Let me see. Oh, wait, wait. Wait. Let's save it because I don't want to lose that. So we're going to save, edit, pattern. Now let's save. Okay, right. Enter. Okay. Okay, so now I want to erase the crash and only leave it on the beginning of the pattern. Okay, so we're going to go into Step Record. I'm going to hit Enter. Okay, so we want the crash only on the first one. Okay, let me see, that's one. will be one. Let me see if I could go here, like quarter notes. I'll be whole. Okay. Those are the bongos. You have to change this to the other one. So bank one. Bank one. Pad number. I think it's 16. So that way we can find it. 16 or 17. I know it's around there. Rock splash. Oh, because we change it. Surely enough. Okay. So. So I want to change it back. Okay. Instead of that one. Okay. So let's. Um. Do this. So that will be bank one past sixteen. Okay. Go back. Okay, but now we gotta go to seventeen, eighteen. So we're gonna erase these. I don't care about this one because that's the first one. I wanna erase that one. So shift and the sound. Here you go, gotta erase. Oops, sorry. Okay, so now let's erase that one. Shift and the sound. Remember, pad 18. This is the 18. So let's go to the next one. So I only want one crash at the beginning of the pattern. Okay, let's see if we got still more. No, nope, that's it. That's the end. Okay, cool. Okay, so that's one, 127. Good. So now let me play it. Well, 
Hold on. Wait. Wait. Fix it. Okay, I raised every. Did I? <laughs> I'm not sure. Hold on. It's here. Oh, there you go. It's uh, the cable that I'm using. I'm, I'm using, using uh, an, an RCA, RCA cable, cable which, which is. is you show it. This cable. And the cable is failing sometimes, giving me a little bit of headaches. Sometimes I have to move it in order so it will respond again. Here we go. Let's go to the beginning. There you go. Now let me change that sound to this one. I think I did properly, but it didn't like work out very well. Let me go edit, pattern, enter, step record, enter. We are on that one. Rock splash 18. Okay. Now, now that's that sound, I want to change it to the other one, to so this one. So, I, I thought I did. Mm, strange, okay. Let's change here, the cursor. Yeah, we got a symbol right. Oh, the velocity is way too low. So let's increase that volume for the for the... Crash. Here we go. There you go. Perfect. Now we can save. Exit. Now let's save. Let's go into right. Enter and enter again. That way we won't lose that change. I want to add some congas though. But I just want to only to leave one crash at the beginning of the pattern. The bongos are okay. To just, just do, do a little bit of congas. Oh, measure, measure number 33. And, and we, we good. good. Here we go. That's number five, six. So oh, this is gonna be the last one. That's 12. So this is the last row, I believe. That's gonna be the end right here. There you go, exactly, okay, perfect. Now we're gonna add congas on the second row. So the first two, they're gonna run with all the congas, then number the third and the fourth. So that's going to be for the ending. It's going to be uh, with the congas. So let's do that. Okay, so let's go edit. You're going to let me hold on. Let me go to kit, enter. Okay, drum parts. Here you go. Oh, here we go to the side. We want to add. Okay, let me see if we can change the pad here to number two. There you go. That sounds pretty good. Now let's go back and uh, let's hit exit. I'm just gonna record. Let's record this. So let's go to the beginning. Okay, that will be the first one. That will be, I guess, if you wanna call it the first bar. This is the second one run. And then from the third, we're going to start recording.
No sé. Ok. <coughs> You want to edit the sound of the congas, make them, I don't know, the pitch, make them higher or lower, whatever. Then you could, you do that, you know how to do that already. Let me save this so we could be done with the video and edit pattern. And then we go right over there, right? Enter, and that's it. Okay. Well, it got extended a little bit, 40 minutes. Um, I tried to do it the quickest I could and the, you know, like very basic stuff. I try to cover different things. Um, I don't know a lot how to edit the drums a lot, but at least what I learned or what I figured out, that's what I could teach. Or that's what I'm showing right now. So... It was not like in depth, really, because I, I believe then it will take me like a couple of hours. But at least with what I show you, you could, you know, you could do some quick edits to your drums. The main thing is always the kick. Have the kick match the key of the song. So that way it's going to sound proper. It's going to sound correct, you know. <clears throat> because if not, it's going to crash the key, the... The song, the melody is gonna crash, or the harmony is gonna crash with the with the percussion, with the kit, with the kick, so, and that's not it's not gonna sound good. So always try to tune your your kick, your your bass drum, so that way it will sound good. Um, I think that that's about it. Let me know your comments. You know, um. And if you have another request for the machine, I'll try to figure out whatever. If I don't know how to do it already, I'll try to figure out. I don't use it that much. I only use the machine in, in the studio just to come up with a quick pattern or to practice guitar. I connect the guitar over here. I connect my guitar over here just to practice the guitar. I don't use a lot. You know, like, that's why I don't do any editing. If I have to edit any drums, I just go to the computer and edit the MIDI. But it's fun, you know, it sounds pretty good. Not too bad. Sounds good. Um, you could do a whole lot because you have a lot of patterns. You have 500 patterns. So you could do a whole lot of stuff with it. I'm telling you, it's, it's really worth it, the machine. Well... I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you one more time for subscribing and for requesting the videos and for commenting, for comments and for sharing the videos. See you guys on the next video. Thank you. <laughs>